what a routine. The vault. Here's her jump, Leandra. Sukahara lay out, pulls her pike around, looks down for the ground. She's off to the side a little bit, step back, but a good jump for a high receiving this competition. This is her first ball. Good hard run, push off, pike Sukahara, a little bit low on the landing, a little step, but still a good vault and a good start. Performer on the uneven bars. Let's see here with a stalder shoot, toe on, shoot to the top bar with a half turn, front hip circle. And there's a regular stalder hop. And a back stalder with front flip, very nice, very interesting, kind of a unique skill. Long hang kip, front hip circle, cast right to a handstand. Giant swing, very nice. Toe on, front off with a half, good, excellent, guys. Here's Chris's mount, jumps over the low bar with a straddle, kips up the high bar, front hip circle, cast up the handstand. Toe on, toe off to a handstand. Whip, it's called a Christ care. Kip catch to the top bar. Kip up, it's really on the bar, shoot out with eagle grip, and a front flip release, very nice. Pushes away another kip, catch the top bar. Whoops, got a hips away from the bar a little bit, caused her a little hesitation there, front hip circle, cast up, and a problem. Yeah, it's hard to pull a handstand out of a still position, which is what she had to do. She had to cast right up to a handstand. She didn't have the, the luxury of the swinging move into it. This is very difficult all right now, Leandra, because she's got to regain her composure, think about what she's doing, front hip circle, cast up, toe on, comb in each dismount over the low bar. Down by almost a full point. Chris is mounting with a press to a handstand here. It's interesting to note, again, that the balance beam is less than four inches wide. It's four feet off the ground and about 16 feet long. I Two back handsprings, and you could tell that uh, she was a little bit in trouble. Once that center of gravity moves off of the line of the beam, you're on the ground. Believe me, when you're up there, it's a lot higher than four feet. Showing a split position. The deduction for the fall is about half a point. There's a full turn, full and a quarter turn to a side position. Back looking down the length of the beam, preparing for a gainer back somersault. One foot landing, very nice. Difficult part, and she did it very well, a split leap. Chris shows good poise, good balletic expression. Jump to a front walkover. A little bit of a bobble, but saved it. Back on top. Good fluid movement to her exercise, showing a nice scale position, good flexibility. Back walk over, swing through, and there's a Valdez, or kind of a back walk over from a sitting position. Moving to the end of the beam now, preparing for dismount. Round off and a full twisting back center. Uh, I'm not saying anything to Chris, but Julianne's ready to do her steam routine. Julianne pushes up to a headstand and then a little spin with a half turn, back extension. And there's a gainer back somersault and saves it. She's a little bit off, but she got back on. You know, Leandra, you've got to kind of wonder if it is an advantage for Julianne, she has a little bit more room on the beam, perhaps, than some of the earl girl other girls do because she's a little bit smaller. But at the same time, it doesn't make any difference. The beam is still four inches wide and 16 feet long, and she's got to do the same skills. She's four feet seven and 69 pounds. And a real dynamo. There's an aerial cartwheel. Nicely done. Moving with good rhythm. <laughs> a little cutesy. Is that an official gymnastics term, cutesy? <laughs> sure is. In this case, it definitely is. Preparing for another tumbling pass, back handspring. Julianne coached by Dick and Linda Mulvihill, a couple of the premier coaches of the women's gymnasts in the United States. You should add oh, that. Back handspring to a headstand position. Another cutesy. Her coach is Linda Matheny Mulvihill, for those of you that followed gymnastics in the late 60s and early 70s. An Olympian for the United States. Warning. She just got her warning to proceed for her dismount. Round off double back. Land a little bit. 
And you're watching Chris Montero walk out onto the floor exercise. She again challenges Julianne Rothoff at a women's floor exercise competition. Let's listen. Very nice music. And of course, the orchestrated music has been a great asset to women's gymnastics from the single instrument a few years ago. Some nice expressive dance parts into the corner and first tumbling pass. Staying in tempo with the music. Very important. Good music interpretation. Round off flip flop. Pike double back somersault. And she may have stepped out of the area a little bit, but still, good tumbling pass, good mount. Round up to a, just a high straddle jump. Good powerful music. Round off an Arabian step out, round off flip flop, full twisting back somersault. Nice pass. Her first two passes have fulfilled part of this tumbling requirement. And now a music tempo change. Very girls, modern. yes, okay. girls have to show a change of pace or a change of tempo in the exercise. And this is Chris's change right here. Pirouette turns. Time for another tumbling pass. Round off flip flop. Double twisting back somersaults. A little bit short. She was a little bit under rotated on that, but a good finish on it. Very fine poise performer already. I'll be interested to see her music. Linda, her coach, is a master of things like this. Round off flip flop and a pike double back somersault. Very nice, Julianne. Nice, light, lively music, which is very appropriate. Gives her a chance to express her personality. Front step out, round off the flop, full twisting back somersault. Pretty close to the line. And now here's a change of pace, a little tempo change. <laughs> twist. Julian Rumbaugh, good and 